Greeting everybody uh, and um, happy International Day of Forest for 2022. And here in 2022, we are left with about 4 billion hectares of forest. And out of these 4 billion hectares, 3.7 are natural forest and uh, 0.3 are uh, plantation forest. Out of this natural forest, about 1.4 billion hectares are primary forest or intact forest. And, and this primary forest and tax forest should be preserved at all costs. I mean, that should be a priority. Um, unfortunately, only 18% of forest area is under protected area, so there needs to be something about that. Now, out of the 4 billion hectares of forest, we have about 2 billion hectares that are allocated for production, various types of production, industrial or, or indigenous or multipurpose. And these production forests are more or less well managed, uh, less than more, unfortunately, and, and very often um, they are over harvested or end up degraded after uh, harvesting. Some are well managed, but not all. And so we are now with these 2 billion hectares of production forests that produce about 4 billion hectares of uh, equivalent uh, roundwood per year. Um, given that we have about 8 billion people on Earth, that, that, that says that we are about, uh, each of us, consuming 0.5 cubic meter of roundwood equivalent per year. And the problem that we are facing now is that uh, by 2030 we will be one additional billion people uh, on Earth. And so with these one additional billion people will need another 500 million cubic meter of roundwood equivalent if we keep the consumption level at, at the current level. And this is unlikely to change very much. So the, the question that you are facing now is that where this 500 million cubic meter of new roundwood equivalent will come from? And, and here, I mean, so they can either come from, from the existing production forest, but we have seen that these are very often already over harvested, or they can come from the primary forest, but we have seen also that it is not something acceptable. We should conserve the primary forest. So we are left with very few solutions if we want to, to produce this additional 500 million cubic meter. And on top of that, if we want to move from a fossil fuel economy to a bio-based economy, if we want to replace concrete, steel uh, or textile by wood-based uh, material, we need even more than this 500 million cubic meter of, of timber. What are our solutions? I mean, we, we don't have many. I mean, a sort of first, we need to protect uh, the primary forest. Second, we need to better manage the forests that have been allocated for production so that they are managed in a way that yield is sustained, but also other ecosystem services and other value. Then we need probably to, to expand or, or, or to increase uh, the area of agricultural land uh, with trees, so in a sense expanding agroforestry. Then we have to look at wherever it makes sense to establish plantation forests because they, are, they could be a very good source of fiber and wood. And, and then ultimately we have to look at the two to three billion hectares of land that have been degraded and, and restore this land, not only for ecosystem services, but also for goods and services and, and mainly uh, wood and wood related products. And if we manage to do that, then we can keep our forests and keep getting the goods out of the forest. And, and at the same time, being sure that in the future we will still have many days, international days of forest. <laughs>